kind of want you to forget about the naked parts that are in our pews, that are, if you're here personally today, uh, to connect with us as your pastors, uh, those who can serve you in whatever way that you like for us to, even if it's a prayer request that you would like to fill out, uh, you can place these in the different offering baskets that are out uh, this door behind you or through the joiner, and they'll collect those and make sure that I get them. And if you're looking at us uh, online today through our live stream, all you have to do is go to our website on our Connect page and give you the opportunity to fill out some connection comments for us to know. If you can even email that to us, it will come to me. I would love to hear from you on that. It's my pleasure again to, to tell you that uh, Brother Herman Parker will be delivering your message to you today. Yesterday uh, at uh, Owen Singleton's uh, I made mention of the fact that Owen had a very close friend who uh, worked with me, and I was actually his supervisor at Morgan Chaplains of America. And the irony of that was that this man who was a great friend of Owen Singleton's from way back was a hundred times the evangelist that I had. Okay, he's just a phenomenal evangelist. And he was one of the, uh, and still is one of the greatest evangelists that Morgan Chaplains of America has. And, I, and here I was, I was his supervisor. Okay, then, then just trust me, that's a little weird. That's how I feel with the fact that Brother Herman is in our church. I'm his pastor. Okay, that's a joy to say, but man, I feel like I'm in the presence of a, a spiritual giant that I don't belong uh, in that position with. And so I just tell you, y'all know that as much as I do, that Brother Herman is going to bring a, a God given message to you today. I hope you picked up an outline on your way in, uh, and especially uh, and we'll talk about discipleship groups later will be used tonight for us. Brother Herman, thank you again for helping out and being such a kind man to me. Would you stand with me as we get ready now to worship? We're going to open up with the scripture in Psalm 91, and then we're going to pray, and then the weeks and his team will lead us in song. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys the dead day. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord, who is your who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because He loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue Him. I will protect Him for He acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the fact that you have given us another day of life and a fabulous opportunity to be together now as the body of Christ that you call the church in worship. Lord, I pray that right now we can be able to do something and whatever we're not able to do in this regard, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will help, and that is that we can lay aside all of the things that fill our mind in the world right now. All of the worries that we have brought in with us. All of the concerns that await for us tomorrow. Lord, all of the things that fill our mind from work and to play and whatever the world would want to distract us with and all of its concerns and anxieties, Father, I pray that we can lay them at your feet right now so that we can focus our entire attention upon you. 
Not on Brother Herman. Not on Louise. Not on songs, Lord, but on you. I pray, Father, that we would be able to yield ourselves to you and how you would speak to us and how you would encourage us and lift us up today with your word and how you would challenge us and bring us into a, a greater understanding of who you are and better prepared to be the disciples that you've called us to be. Lord, would you build a hedge of protection around this place at this moment? Would you fill your servant, Brother Herman, Lord, with power and function today and just give him, Lord, your word as I know you will. Lord, we look forward to all that you're going to do with great expectation and anticipation, Lord, knowing that you are going to do a great work in us today and we would just simply yield ourselves to you. So we give ourselves to you now, Lord, and ask you to have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, church, let's sing of that amazing grace of our Lord.
Yeah.